Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump relentlessly blasts Attorney General Sessions yet again in fiery tweet storm. By Tyler Durden. Trump seems to be ignoring calls from almost everyone, from both sides of the aisle, and Congress to tone down the attacks on his own Attorney General. In his latest tweet storm, Trump blasts Sessions for not replacing acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe who was inexplicably allowed by Comey to oversee the Clinton email investigation despite the fact that his wife received substantial funding from Hillary Clinton ally Terry McAuliffe to fund her Senate campaign. Why didn't A.G. Sessions replace acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe, a Comey friend who was in charge of Clinton investigation but got big dollars, $700,000? for his wife's political run from Hillary Clinton and her representatives. Drain the swamp. We wrote about the rather curious campaign funding revelations last October, see, prominent Democrat connected to Clinton's donated $675,000 to campaign of deputy FBI director's wife. The latest allegation of potential impropriety and conflict of interest involving the Democratic Party and the FBI which over the summer famously cleared Hillary Clinton of any criminal wrongdoing as relates to her personal email server, comes not from a Podesta email or a WikiLeaks disclosure, but the Wall Street Journal which overnight reported that the political organization of Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, an influential Democrat with long-standing ties to Bill and Hillary Clinton, gave nearly $500,000 to the election campaign of the wife of an official at the Federal Bureau of Investigation who later helped oversee the investigation into Mrs. Clinton's email use. Campaign finance records show Mr. McAuliffe's Political Action Committee donated $467,500 to the 2015 state Senate campaign of Dr. Jill McCabe, who is married to Andrew McCabe, now the deputy director of the FBI. The Wall Street Journal adds that the Virginia Democratic Party, over which Mr. McAuliffe exerts considerable control, donated an additional $207,788 worth of support to Dr. McCabe's campaign in the form of mailers, according to the records. That adds up to slightly more than $675,000 to her candidacy from entities either directly under Mr. McAuliffe's control or strongly influenced by him. The figure represents more than a third of all the campaign funds Dr. McCabe raised in the effort. Seems that Sessions isn't off the hook just yet. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.